Locations. The professor's daughter is in her middle school when the lockdown bell rings. She crouches next to Bella Russo, who has scattered freckles on every inch of skin. Are you going tonight, she asks. The student teacher hushes her so no one would hear them. The man with the gun is at the school. The professor's daughter is inching closer to Bella. I don't know, Bella said. Who's going to be there? Who do you want to be there? Bella surveyed her classmates, a sea of neon shorts, tangled hair, and an unfortunate lack of deodorant. You, she answered. The man with the gun is in the hallway. He's holding a double vanilla latte, but he should have only gotten one shot. The coffee is making his hands shake. The student teacher is sitting in the classroom, knees curled up. The students joke about who got knocked up and kicked out. They think it's a drill. No one had told her that it was. When she gets home, when her boyfriend hears about this day, he will order double chicken lo mein and Sprite and watch reruns of Seinfeld. He will stroke her hair and tell her how much he loves her. The professor's daughter is braiding Bella Russo's hair. It was so curly that when Bella didn't brush it, the hair puffed up around her shoulders like a perm. You're like really pretty, the daughter said. Thanks, Bella said, biting her nail. Then, I think my parents might be getting divorced. They haven't told me, but I can tell. I'm sorry, the daughter said. I don't know how they stopped being in love. Did they stop trying? I'm not sure that's how love works, the daughter says. What does trying have to do with it? Lots, Bella says, like, I think I could love you if I tried. The student teacher is in the dark when the door handle turns. In college, they taught her how to stretch her body in every direction, to take up space to control the classroom. Now, she shrinks so whoever was at the window wouldn't see her. She has learned this much. Should the door open, she will stretch her body in front of the children.